We all absolutely hate cleaning our wheel. If we could all have our own private studio and just leave our wheel messy all the time, we'd be much happier potters. But unfortunately, we do need to be considerate of our community members and we need to clean our wheel. The part that most people forget is the side of the wheel. As you can see, there's a whole bunch of hidden clay right in there. Best practices, turn the wheel on, take your big puffy sponge and just wipe it away. And don't forget underneath the wheel as well. Again, people wanna to start to work at a clean surface. They don't want remnants of your past successes or failures on their wheel when they start. You can do the same thing here up on top. And even after you clean your splash pan, maybe go back at it with a towel. Make sure you get all of the different pieces of clay. Sometimes when our bat is not holding on to our bat pins, we add a little bit of clay to the bat pin so that we can make sure that the bat is secure on the wheel. Then we clean our wheel and we forget that clay. You may think, oh, that person may need it, but once it's dry, it's useless. So please make sure to go at it and clean that extra clay. I tend to use a metal rib to get in there and really scrape it up. And then again, go ahead, use that car wash sponge, turn that wheel on and clean it away. Scales. Every studio has a bunch of different kitchen scales. Chances are, since we need so many, they are not super expensive. So they do tend to break. So when you are making your balls, please be kind to the other people in your studio and maybe clean it off a little. The more clay you leave on the top of the scale, the more likely it is to stick to your ball and then come right off of the top. It also makes it a lot easier to see the numbers. And as artists, we really don't want to deal with math.